Can I tell you one of my best Plinko stories? Yes. Okay. You're the only so, one that has it. Um, by the way, you're the only person that I can ever talk to in my life that has a best Plinko story. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good one. This is uh, started my second Drew. season. Okay, it started my second season. This is right. I'm still brand new and uh, just coming back. And, uh, you know, you're always nervous about screwing up a show when you're the, coming back and filling the kind of shoes that Bob Barker had. Uh, so they had done a commercial. There's a, a college a college girl that, that got to play Plinko and she dropped her first three chips right down in the $10,000 spot. And the record for Plinko is I think at the time was like 23,000 or 21,000 or something like that. But she already broke it with the three 10, and right in a row. And people were on their feet, like jumping up and down and cheering. I mean, the crowd was going wild. She dropped the fourth chip. The floor director comes over, stops the chip and leans into me and he goes, the game is fixed. And I went like, what? oh, okay, I'm going to jail. I'm losing my job. There's going to be a scandal. Uh, I, you, all, these, all these emotions going through my head. And what had happened was right before the season came back, they shot a commercial for the PS version of uh, uh, the Price is Right game, you know, the little tiny cartridges. And they dropped uh -huh. it down the Plinko board and rigged it with fishing line so it would always fall in the center. Uh, and they used this really thin fishing line that you couldn't see. And they got done doing the commercial, and they didn't take the fishing line off. And no, it was so invisible no. that when the crew brought out the Plinko board and set it up, they didn't even notice it. So this woman was like being – her chips were being guided by the fishing line to always land in the middle. Oh, so she wasn't a part of it. And that's what he went by the – no. And it was a total mistake. And, and uh, so oh. we had to have a like a five – five minute meeting and shut, shut down for like five or 10 minutes while we decided what to do. So we off camera, we gave her the 30,000, uh, but cause we uh -huh. couldn't let her count it for her winnings. Cause that determines your place, you know, spinning the wheel and also at the showcase at the end. Uh, sure. So we gave her the 30,000 off camera, gave her a fresh five chips, pretended like it never happened. And we just let her drop it again. And she won like an extra 1500 bucks or something on wow. camera that counted towards the show. Wow. And then I, and then, you know, that's cool. As far as I'm concerned, this guy saved us an extra 10,000 and nobody <sighs> bought him dinner or anything. So I, I, I bought him a steak <laughs> dinner just like, Hey, thanks for saving the show. $10,000. Go have a steak yeah. for a couple hundred bucks. Right. Cause you noticed it and remembered it. Uh, they also probably thought that he cost us $30,000. So maybe that's why they didn't <laughs> want to buy him a steak dinner. But maybe, maybe I like, believe his heart was pure. Dave didn't realize. <laughs>